Hey everyone and welcome to Black Astrology. In this video we will discuss the general compatibility and love energy between Pisces and Sagittarius. I keep getting the question is Krishan and her new bae K-Swap a good match? Is this gonna work? So let's get into it. Oh and for the ones that don't believe in astrology but still watch my videos Please go check out my video on Krishan and her baby daddy Blueface that we did months ago. And you will see that astrology is very real and energy is even more real. I'll link it below. Everything in this video is allegedly and for your entertainment. My Virgo mind because he's a Leo and his What's your sign? Pisces. He always say, I know how Sagittarius is. I, I mean, Pisces are known to be very deep. Very emotional. But it's like, you gotta step out that shit. We Leo. I think, baby, I'm Aquarius. I started this gangster shit. It's Aquarius and a Scorpio. Okay. So I said, is it a Sagittarius thing? Okay. So if you've been under a rock, literally, you know that Krishan is a Pisces. Her new bag, K Swab, is a Sagittarius. His real name is Kevin Gaynor, and you should already know Krishan is Malone. Now, when a Pisces and a Sag link up, it's kind of like they lose focus. Sag thinks big and Pisces lives in a dream fantasy world. Don't click off just yet. Because the fact that they are both very young, things could come together really well for them. And I will definitely tell you why. But either way, one of them needs to be down to earth or grounded, I will say. To be clear, the general nature of a Sag is to hang out together, but Pisces is looking for her dream man, hero, her knight in shining armor. Now, we don't know much about K Suave, but this is basically what we are seeing. Now, we already know Krishan is looking for love, period. Pisces definitely believe in love at first sight. But, you know, once they've been hurt, they can't really act on it like that because they're not dumb. They don't want to get hurt again. Now, as far as the Knight in Shining Armor part, Big Sag energy, that's Big Sag energy. So, this is what is keeping him attracted to Rock. He want to save her. He want to change her life. Sagittarius want to change him up life. Period. After you deal with a Sag, you instantly step your game up. You can never go back to crumbs because Sag will bring you a new loaf every day and they will pass every single test you put them through. And that's facts. But attracting a Sag man is easy. Like, keeping him. Now that's a whole nother different story. Krishan needs to flip a switch, do a 360, I don't know, do a headstand. I don't know what she needs to do, but something. She needs to be marriage material from day one, not day two. Not day 30 with a Sag, but day one. Because Sag is watching. They feel like if you change, that should be now. And that's for real. Now, I normally don't do birth charts for free readings on YouTube. But I had to make an exception because, hell, I want to know if they're a good match too. And not just in general. <laughs> I think I only have done one other video where I pulled a chart. And it was for Tory Lanez, Meg, and Kelsey situation. And yeah, I was right about that too. Go check that one out. Anywho, back to K and Rock. Matter of fact, we just gonna call them K-Rock. Anyway, K-Suave is definitely a big Sag, but he has a soft cancer moon. And this is what could make this work. But yes, there is a big butt here, a big ass butt. Krishan also has a cancer moon. So things could be extremely emotional if K Swift, if K Suave decides to show his moon sign. Men really don't show that. They hide it. Moon signs relate more to women. If you didn't know, now you know. Men show their Mars energy. So if you are masculine, be sure to check your Mars sign. Y'all should actually check your Mars sign first. Okay, so back to um Krishan and K Suave. So, is Rock really attracted to this dude? Like, you know, she she seemed like she be a little blushing and stuff. But, you know, Pisces love when somebody can cheer them up. 
and water signs can definitely be damp sometimes like especially dealing with fire signs it's easy for them to put their fire out luckily rock has fire mars and aries i love doing readings and the energy flows you know the worst readings be when everything clashes and the energy be all fucked up but this one is flowing sagittarius can cheer up any damn body ruled by jupiter the planet of optimism people wonder why the hell they so damn happy all the damn time no nah, i'm just playing but for real as a sag k suave is able to attract krishan from the realness of her situation um did i say distract i mean attract i meant distract he's able to distract her from all that blue face negative energy and she needs that so what attracts krishan to k suave he likes the fact that she is herself sagittarius is always looking for truth like they want the real thing and krishan is not trying to be someone else i mean you can literally look at her chart and see she has a lot of piscean placements and she's a pisces so that makes it very easy for her to be herself this is the kind of chart you want because when your chart has a lot of conflicts you can literally be arguing with your damn self and it takes a lot of work to get to the energy to where it will work for you look at this her chart is literally off the chain another good vibe is that neither one wants confrontation I know y'all like, yeah, right, Krishan love confrontation with Blueface and this and that. That's the key word, Blueface. Blueface is an Aquarius, and yes, they like that shit, period. They like to see what make you mad. They like to see what make you tick. They like to see what make you pop off. Sag, they want to see you smile, and that's on God they do. And if you don't believe me, oh, well, don't watch. Log off. If you think you always right, or if you think nothing is your fault, or you think this, you know, this, this channel ain't for you. And as simple as that. I'm trying to heal energy. I'm not trying to feed you some bullshit. The tips I give work, and that's facts. And please don't be in my comments about that sash that hurt you and this and any other. He didn't want to be sad with you. So I'm going to have to holler on that. Nah, I'm just playing, but for real. Of course, birth charts tell more. But anyway, with this Krishan, well, I'm sorry, K-Rock, he will need to let her be her and she will need to let him be him. And both of these energies do allow it. And this is because it ain't a whole bunch of fixed energies in their charts. Actually, hold on, let me see. There are a few Aquarius placements in k Swab's chart. Oh my. But what made Blueface a negative Nancy is his Mercury and Capricorn. He had a very negative thinking and k Swap has Mercury and Sag. So he will be able to think more positive and Krishan definitely needs that more than anything. Like negative, Blueface was just so negative. They was, they, I don't know. Anyway, um, as far as the sex and romance go for these two, they actually believe in each other, so the sex will be good as fuck. He is down for whatever, and that is good because she gets bored easily. Now, when I say I pulled their birth charts, that is from what I found on them. Like, I don't know what time they were born and all that. And I, I couldn't even really find k Swap city of birth, um, so I just had to use the state. But, um, well, I don't want y'all send it to them for me. Anyway somebody asked me the other day well since you know every damn thing <laughs> what is the best placement in the chart but you know sometimes i don't know questions they just be seeming crazy but i never try to shit on nobody to ask a question there is not a specific placement that is the best the best placement in a chart is one with the least amount of square energy so what the fuck is a square it's a 90 degree angle anyway so that means any sign directly 90 degrees from your sign or whatever the energy that you're trying to you know tap into it will cause some heat many astrologers though will tell you that the opposite signs are the worst in the, the opposite sign placements are the worst in the chart 
But they didn't study hard enough because your opposite sign is really your marriage sign. And if you one of those people who say, I was with my opposite sign and it was terrible and this and that, no. One of y'all didn't want to team up. Marriage is about partnership and your, and your opposite sign, like your strengths or their weaknesses and vice versa. I can say probably way 75% of the couples that I've done love readings for, they have definitely had opposite sign energy. Anywho, let me get back on track. Unlike Blueface, K Swive, a Sag will foot the bill. The only way a Sag won't pay is if they really ain't got it. Y'all know how some people be having it and still be like, hell no. <laughs> I'm some people, but anyways, let's get back to these Mars because Mars placement tells you what motivates somebody. And um, Rock has Aries and has Mars Aries, and K has Capricorn Aries. And I always say Capricorn is negative energy, but they are also the hardest working sign in the zodiac. So anybody should love to have a Capricorn Mars. The energy gets fucked up when the energy is misplaced. That's the misconception. Now, if this was just a general reading based on the sun signs of Sagittarius masculine and Pisces feminine, I would say she is way too damn emotional for him and hell to the no. But you clearly see a more in-depth reading will tell you a lot more. Not saying a general read won't resonate because it will with some having different charts. Um, if you are trying to attract a, pa a Pisces or a Sagittarius or hell, any other sign, hit us up. You will be so glad you did. Trust me. Nevertheless, K-Rock look happy. I always remember, nobody is exactly the same because we all have control of our own individual actions. Astrology should be used as self-help and manifesting what we want. Astrology should not be used for every, if you know what I mean. Never try to change anyone. Start with self and everything else will fall into place. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks for watching. And personal readings can be booked on our website at blackastrologyatl.com. And you can also check out our tarot shop. Be sure to follow us on IG at Black Astrology Media. And you can also follow us at Black Astrology for astrology messages and tips. Seriously. And that's good for me because I'm a Sagittarius moon, honey. Yes, I'm very into astrology.